Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about this baby right here. Not that baby right there, but this baby right here. This is my 921 Elite Phoenix 2023 model. Um, and this boat is for sale, baby not included. Um, you know, every single year, most pros will flip their boats. You know, for I think the last five or six years, I've been, you know, flipping my boat every single year. It's not really, if you talk to most pros that, that flip their boat every single year, they do it for financial reasons primarily. Um, but really, it's not our favorite process. <laughs> You know, you you have to, you know, go through the financials of it. You gotta you gotta uh, rig it out, then get it um, wrapped, and it's always kind of like a race at the beginning of the year, <clears throat> especially the last few years where you know inventory for certain you know uh, pieces of equipment has been you know low uh, as far as supply goes. Um, but anyways, even though it's not our favorite process necessarily, it is fun to be in a new boat every single year. It's actually a really good opportunity for people out there that want a boat that is rigged to the gills with all the latest and greatest equipment, has fairly low hours, uh, and, uh, and is being sold for a good price. And that's kind of what you get when you buy from, you know, uh, an angler like myself, highly motivated to sell because we've got another boat, you know, already in the queue and, uh, and you've got a boat that's, that's just tournament ready to go. You've worked out all the kinks, ironed out everything that could possibly uh, have gone wrong when you first get the boat and you got a boat that's just dialed. So that's what we're doing right now. So in this video, first off, I just want to advertise this boat for sale because, um, we've got to get it moved. And so I want to, sell it to one of you guys. Um, and so we're going to talk about how this boat is rigged, all that stuff, um, and what we're asking for this boat in particular. And then we're going to talk about why you would want to buy a used boat for me, because there's some guys out there probably wouldn't buy a used boat for, from them just the way that they use it. So we're going to talk about that. But first, let's talk about the 921 Elite just as a boat in general. You know, whether or not you want to buy it from me um, is up to you. But um, there's there, the reason I ended up buying the 921 Elite, we'll just have Riley in the background here. The reason I ended up going with the 921 Elite is um, three years ago, I had just got off of, you know, fishing uh, some of the Great Lake events um, up north. And my back was killing me. I've had back problems since probably 10 years ago. I started having some back issues up in Alaska. And ever since it's been a real big issue, especially when, you know, we start getting on some of those, those big lakes that, that have rough water. And uh, after that season, I was just so beat up that I was just like, I have to make a change. And I had a Phoenix um, back in like 2014, I had a, a 920 Pro XP. And when I went out on Lake Champlain, I understood why they are so popular and why um, so many people love Phoenixes. And that's because they ride better than any other boat platform I've been in as far as a bass boat. Um, bass boats in general, I mean, they're just, they're not made for real big seas to begin with. But as far as like, uh, when you're talking about bass boats and how they ride in rough water, and I'm talking anything from, you know, a one or two foot chop to six to eight foot waves or, you know, whatever you throw at it, a Phoenix is above and beyond, especially those two foot chops that, that just drive you crazy. They just, they just beat you to kingdom come. Um, this, this boat uh, really just handles them very, very well. I think it's a combination of where the cockpit is, like as far as, you know, the, where they, they center the cockpit in the boat. So there's a, there's a pivot point on every single boat. I think that they put the cockpit in the right spot. And also of course their hull, their hull design is just second to none. It allows for good speed and also just an overall, a uh, cushy ride. So that was the main reason why I went back to Phoenix and I chose the 921 Elite. The 21 version I chose because, again, I wanted a, a good ride and I also carry so much stuff in my boat. So 
uh, I wanted to have this big cavernous box that Riley's sitting on right now um, that, that could carry all of my gear. And so that was a big, big reason. But I think overall, it was just the fact that I was just getting so beat up on the water that I wanted a 21 foot boat, even though I know the 20 foot boats uh, from Phoenix ride very, very well as well. Um, I just ended up going big, you know, I'm spending a lot of time in these boats and, you know, I, I want to have a long career. So I don't want to like, I, I don't want to, you know, just get, get so beat up that I can't, can barely stand up, uh, and be on the trolling motor all day. So that was the main reason. Um, other than that, you know, the differences between some of the other top end Phoenix boats, um, you know, uh, like the PHX were very minimal. You know, it was kind of down to the Elite or the PHX. The Elite 2 I didn't really like because I like having a single big cavernous box instead of the split box orientation. Whenever you split, you know, your center boxes, you're, you're wasting space in the middle as far as I'm concerned. So I like having like one big cavernous, you know, lid um, that I can open and access everything. Um, but the main reason why I chose this over the PHX is because I was told that the gunnel is about an inch shorter on the Elite, which was beneficial for my style of fishing because I flip and pitch a lot. The last thing I want to do is like pitch a jig into the side of my gunnel all the time. Uh, I'm not sure if that would actually happen, but that was kind of my reasoning. I was like, well, why would I go to the PHX if, you know, pretty much the rest of the boat is f fairly similar. All the things that I'm interested in uh, are similar and it was like 1500 bucks less. So that's pretty much why I went to the, the, the elite and why you might be interested in the elite. The elite pretty much has all the extras that, that um, you could see on any of the other boats. Look at this face that she's giving me right now. Look at that face, so cute. Um, but this boat has pretty much all the, the extras that you can, you can get on like the PHX and things like that. So, you know, it was kind of a no brainer for me. I chose the elite. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, and so let's talk about how this boat is rigged. And so if anybody out there is interested in buying it, this is pretty much how you're going to get it. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is because I work with BassBoatElectronics.com, got plentiful electronics options here, got three different brands, three uh, here at the console, and then two here, or three at the front and two at the console. Um, just to simplify this, uh, I'm gonna end up selling this boat with just the two Lorances. Um, so uh, two Lorance HDS 12 Pros, However, and the reason why I'm saying that will be simple is because technically those are the only two that I own. Um, and so I'm going to be selling that with two Lorances. So the price that we're going to talk about in a minute is, is for those two Lorances. Other than that, everything else is exactly how it's going to be when I go to sell it. Um, however, now that I've said that, if somebody was just like, man... I want to buy the boat, but I want all of the electronics the way you want it. You already have it. Or, hey, I want to add a Garmin. Super easy to do. Uh, BassBoatElectronics.com. Last year when I sold my boat, they worked out a, a killer deal for the other electronics. And the guy that bought it, he, he just picked exactly what he wanted on his boat. And we delivered it that way. So we're real flexible as far as how you... Uh, what electronics you get with this boat but the base price that we're going to be talking about is where i'm starting for just the the two lorances so anyways i got something on my hat riley just give me a few minutes here <laughs> so um so yeah we got we're gonna have the two lorance hcs 12 pros uh the front and console they're connected we're gonna have the 0.1 uh puck on there all the trimmings you know the three-in-one transducer i think is on the back that sort of thing um, we've got motor guide tour pro on here this is a pretty new one uh, i just put it on uh, a couple weeks ago and so pretty much a, a brand new uh, motor guide tour pro on there um we've got uh 
you know, you got your stomp switches for the power poles. We've got the um, trick step deal. That's an add-on. I will never buy a boat without this thing. That is awesome. So let's go to the back. Oh, another thing we've added on this as an option is these straps. So you've got these two um, uh, straps instead of just one. This is actually pretty killer. So I at first I bought them because I'm a big fan of like having backups, having a little bit of redundancy in case something goes wrong. Um, so they're really good for that. So if you have one strap that goes bad for whatever reason, you still got another um, in rough water. I like strapping putting the, both straps on so you don't have as much movement of your rods. They don't get as tangled. And also sometimes what I'll do is I'll stack my rods. So I'll put my bees over here, you know, my B uh, rods, the ones that I'm not sure if I'm going to use or not. And I'll put my A's over here. And so I can kind of stack them that way. I don't do that all the time, but sometimes I'll do that depending on, you know, how, how well it uh, works out. But um, yeah. Uh, here at the console, we've got the dual shroud option. So it will facilitate, you know, two graphs very, very easily, um, already. We've got the, a smart craft for the mercury, which is pretty killer. We've got a heated seat. So we got that option to keep your, your, uh, rear end warm during the, the winter time. Again, this, the boat is, is fairly dirty right now i'm using it every single day so it's it, you know when when i sell this thing it's going to be so clean so slick um but right now it's a little bit dusty we live on a dirt road so uh but we've got the uh, sea deck um, material option on the bottom this has what they call the pro gas tank it's a larger gas tank i think I think it's five gallons more than than what the the tank that's advertised. The only thing that that does, other than giving you more more gas capacity, is the the fact that the the um, the net uh, storage doesn't work for that. Um, there's just not enough space because of that that bigger gas tank. But I would much rather have a a bigger gas tank and more range than you know being able to store a net that i'm not using already um other than that we've got the stomp latches so you don't have to twist them or anything like that the small things like that i'm telling you you want this this uh option this is a big deal and you don't even know how big of a deal it is until you actually get it but usually you have something that you have to twist and then open it up and you can see I got a little bit of a, a, a mole, something I was a little bit worried about taking off at the dermatologist. So that's what that is. Wear your sunscreen, folks. Wear your sunscreen. Or wear gloves. That's your, your PSA for the day. Um, but uh, other than that, let's take a look at the power system back here. We got two AGMs, one for cranking, one for the house. They're rigged in parallel. Um, and then we've got um, three Battleborn lithium batteries for the trolling motor system. Um, and, you know, this is the best power system that you could come by. I, I'm, I'm pretty positive of that. And my buddy Jason at BasketballElectronics.com, their team, we figured out how to rig all of this, all five batteries in this and still keep the spare prop holder. So that's something a lot of people ask me about. We got the power pole charge system in the back here. That's been pretty killer. Um, so that's the power system in there. Oh, we got a stereo too. We got the fusion stereo and two speakers. That's always key. Um, of course, we got the Mercury 250 Pro XS on the back here. Two power pole blades. We got a Atlas jack plate. Um, that is the transducer that's going to come with it. And we got a transducer saver, um, and all that, unless you, there's, I mean, if you buy all of the electronics, you got the, the hummingbird transducer on the other side. And so, and it's all been custom rigged. There's a custom, uh, harness, power harness, uh, all done by BassBoatElectronics.com. So you know that it's done right. They just do a really, really killer job. Other than that, um, let's see if we can get in here. 
without disturbing Miss Miss Riley too much. See, trick step, man. That is the deal. All right, let's turn you. Oh, sorry, I broke your broke your table. I'm sorry, honey. All right, careful. All right, so center box to me is like one of the, the keys to this boat in particular. You got, you know, your, uh, your, your board, you got some, you know, lure organization there. You could just throw some lures on that deal. Um, but this right here is why I wanted the, um, the elite is all this space in here. I can carry all kinds of stuff. It's kind of a mess right now. This right here was another add-on. This is an extra and I will never buy another Phoenix without it. It is awesome and it has survived all the abuse that, um, you know, I was, I was worried that it might not survive, you know, cause I was like, man, moving parts like that, usually you, you have some issues, but it, it has never come off its rails and this is removable by the way, but it's, it's been nothing but helpful. I haven't had any issues with these, these center sliding organizers at all. So, all right. Well, I mean, that pretty much does it for, you know, the, the extras that I have on this boat, I think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, other than that, it's pretty much standard Phoenix, Phoenix, uh, 921 elite, depending on how whoever buys it, um, wants the electronics, you might have a Bass Boat Technologies mount on the front and the console like I have right now, but that's up to you. Um, all right, so let's talk about the price. So what I'm asking for this boat is uh, is 73.5, okay? And again, the way I'm rigging this boat is with a uh, the, the two Lorances and... Uh, yeah, that's that's the way I'm going to be selling this boat. And so 735 again, send me an offer. I'm I'm a, a motivated seller. I got to get rid of it so I can I can, you know, take possession of the new boat um in January. So um, you can send me an email at sonar at sonarfishing.com. We can talk about it. And uh and you know, there's a lot of things that that we can do with this boat. Um you know, as far as like being flexible as, as far as electronics, I got a bunch of different props that we can, we can set you up with, uh, as, as a primary or spare prop, um, and that sort of thing. So, oh, and also the Mercury engine is eligible for the, uh, the, the platinum, uh, extended warranty. So you can extend it for another six years, I think. So, which is always a really good deal. Um, but yeah, so why would you want to buy a used boat from me? Um, I love taking care of my boats. I'm pretty anal about my boats. I want to make sure that that all my equipment is is running good. And I hate it. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it when I I put a scratch on my boat, even though I know I'm going to sell it at the end of the year. Especially since I'm going to sell it at the end of the year. On this boat, to my knowledge, um, there's at the bottom of the boat. Let's look at that real quick. Let's look at the bottom of the boat. So keep in mind, I just looked at it. Um, I've still got a kind of a scum line on the bottom here. Underneath that, which let's just wipe it. Let's just wipe it real quick. All right, so we've got this scum line right here that I just noticed. So underneath that, it's, it's real nice. So the only thing that you'll find on the bottom here, no dents, chunks, scratches, any fiberglass damage whatsoever on the bottom. Um, you've got some, some you know, light, uh, like sanding, I guess what you'd call it, uh, you know, by going over sandbars and stuff like that. I don't know of a boat that is used that doesn't have that kind of thing. Um, but it doesn't have any big gouges or big scratches at all, all year. 
I didn't run over, usually I'll run over like a piece of rebar <laughs> that will really send my blood pressure going through the roof. Um, this year, none of that. Another thing that didn't happen this year with this boat, and, and by the way, when I took off the, the wrap, no spider cracks, no cosmetic, you know, imperfections, anything like that. Um, and this year, a little bit special because we didn't take any chunks off the lower unit at all. All you've got is some paint loss from, you know, just normal taking off in, in shallow, you know, muddy or sandy water, idling through sandy water, that sort of thing. No chunks, dents, anything like that. So lower unit is in really good condition, um, but the engine overall runs great, no issues. Um, and that brings me to another reason why you might want to buy. What's up, honey? I know, I know, this is tough. This is tough. It's tough. There we go. Daddy would be done pretty quick. So um, another reason why you want, might wanna buy a boat from me, and I have proof on my videos of this, is I take really good care of my engine. Uh, the, the Mercury on the back of my boats, this is the powerhouse. This is what gets me to and from my fishing locations. And if this isn't running right, I'm not gonna be making checks. So um, you guys know I do a ton of videos on the, the maintenance of these engines. So I'm very hands-on. I like to change my, my fluids every 50 to 75 hours instead of every 100 hours. Um, I change out the filters. I know how to do all this stuff. I've been doing it for a long time and I have uh, you know attention to detail. So you know that I've been taking good care of this engine, which, you know, I think is a huge, huge benefit. Um, so that's another reason. Other than that, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, overall, I just think I, I take really good care of my boats. Uh, I hate seeing them get scratched, dented, uh, you know, any of that stuff. I'm not one of those guys that can shake off, um, you know, damaging my boat lightly. Um, other than that, the only cosmetic issue that I have, I wasn't even going to mention it on this video, but we might as well because we're being very transparent about everything. But I ended up denting this fender. Now, I talked to a body shop. And again, it's not clean right now. Talked to a body shop. Um, they could get it hammered out, you know, pretty easy. And so whoever buys it. I'll just go ahead and, and get that, um, you know, get that fixed and looking good. Cause there's no paint damage or anything like that. It just bended in this, this, uh, this edge of the, the fender a little bit. And that sucked cause it was the last, the very last tournament of the year. I was like, man, we're going to the Harris chain. There's no stumps. There's really nothing to hit other than maybe a gator. Um, and so we're going to have a, the boat for the very first time, not have hardly any scratches or anything. And then I'm pulling out of a gas pump with the camper and end up hitting one of their barriers. But thankfully it had like plastic on it. So it didn't, you know, mar it up or anything like that. Other than that, like uh, the, the trailer tires are wearing evenly, which is always a good sign. Um, haven't had any issues with any of the hubs or anything like that, which is another thing. I always check the, the, the temperature of the hubs every single time I stop for gas on trips. Um, so that just goes to show you, I, I like taking care of my equipment, but anyways, I'm not going to drone on and on. I've got to take care of my little girl over there. She's getting a little fussy. So we're going to end this video right now. But if you are interested in buying my 2023 Phoenix 921 Elite uh, with my Phoenix or with my Mercury on the back, uh, please send me an email at sonar at sonarfishing.com and I'd love to sell you this boat. So if you have any questions, uh, you want to send an offer, send me an email. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you don't buy my boat, I hope you you end up buying the boat of your dreams and, and having a lot of good luck with it. But I do hope you buy my boat. So thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys out on the water. I got to take care of this little girl.